Uh, let's see if it's daytime. Maybe Loyal will tell us about the, uh, about the, uh, the plane. Oh, are you coming to me? Oh, you're not. So we may see our dream of flight soon? Um, I don't think it's there, is it? Is it, uh... Loyal! Loyal, I'm looking for you! Uh, boo. Ah, nope, there he is. Hey, buddy. Good work with those solar arrays. Oh, what? Boo. Alright, well, I was gonna help you. I was gonna help you get a plane. But I guess not. How about Jack? So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Yes. Oh, I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Bruh. Uh, what do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? What can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. Uh, I was looking for ways to head out. Anything come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. Mm. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Uh, where I come from, we discuss personal metal matters all the time. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. <gasps> a girl? Tell me about her. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. So I should steal. You really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? <laughs> oh, jeez. I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Oh, well, or... Oh, um... Young Hearts. Uh... Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? No. I had other things to attend to. You said you talked to her. Um... Like I... Uh... Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any scrap metal. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Pearl, I guess. Um, we want to return to Pearl. Oh, wait, no, this is, uh, uh, idiot. Local map. She's still in Pearl's barracks. So, to the barracks we go. Sup, homie. Bye, homie. Hello. 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 I think that's this one. Yep. Hey, Pearl. I've helped almost everyone. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Welcome. Well, I think I've done everything I can to help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Thanks. Find Loyal. Bruh. Ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Ah, uh, bruh. All right, back to oop, nope, back to Loyal. Who's in the hangar? Oh, there's only one door to. Of course. Once a Republican, always a Republican. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. What 
ever. Okay, loyal. You're supposed to tell me about the plane now. Oh. Dude. Are you? There you are. I was gonna say. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. I already knew about that. Lady in the water? What's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. Mm -hmm. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. Right. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. Mm -hmm. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Mm -hmm. Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Uh... Where is the bomber located? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip Boy map. How do you expect to raise a bottom a bomber from the bottom of the lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Sweet. Um if it's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. Well, that was silly. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Um, all right, I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. And hit the button. Any ideas how to get to the bottom without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. I'll talk to Jack. <laughs> Please and thank you. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? No, dude, I'm working on it. Oh, well... Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Um... Okay, I'll let you know. Great. Uh, so I need my what science needs to go up by at least four. Um, I need to get go. Um, I don't know. I don't even know where I can find a pressure cooker. So, um, I'm gonna have to level up once. Uh, no. Where am I? Um, I need just under 2,000 experience points. So I guess what we can do then is, um, there is that. Where is she? Oh, she's just there. Okay, well that's that's easy enough. We can do that. Um, all right. Um, we just local map. Oh, I'm inside. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's go find the redhead. She is around here. There you are. Hey, lady. Hey, you should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Oh, I'm here for you. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I've been inside, Nellis, and there's a young man who has a crutch on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? 
he's like a dude that wants you. Uh, he's nice, maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you're the love of his life. Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. Right? I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Uh, no. Um, I'll ask Pearl. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. I could have lied, but that would have been mean. I'm not going to be mean today. Um, do you have a pressure cooker? Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Um, let me see what you got. If you just happen to have a pressure cooker, um, then I'll just do that. Nope. No pressure cooker. Um, all right, you're a something, though. I'm gonna take that. Tiny, tiny babies. All you need to know about pediatric medicine. Why not? Um, is there anything else that looks like it might be uh, something that can help me? Uh, no. Okay, um, cool. Goodbye. Um, ah, that was dumb. Um, items, miscellaneous. What does tiny, tiny babies get me? Oh. Alright, well, I guess at some point it might do something. Um, let's get back to... Uh, Nellis. Uh, the hangers. Cool. Um, back to Pearl. Pearl. I have a lady who wants to talk to her man. I better have something that makes science go up. I'm gonna be mad if I don't. Cause I need that rebreather. Hey. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, well, child. Then give me a favor. Uh Jack is interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? Uh, she works <coughs> for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traders. They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. Well, that's not very this nice. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Uh, it would mean a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision. Outside. Oh, you're gonna regret it. Uh, see you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, hopefully this will get me enough experience points to get my extra four in science that I need. Hello? Jack? I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. Hey, buddy. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? I have. Good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Sweet. Boomer outfit for Janet. Hey, Janet. I have new clothes for you. 
back to the caravan. Through the door. And back to Janet. Hey, Janet. I have good news for you. Hey, Janet. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? He wants you. Um. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? Uh, I got a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross Pinellas. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Mm. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Boo. You're in here, right? No. You're in here. That's the one. All right. Uh, who are you, bruh? He's been riding asses here. Better lay low. Uh, no, I'm not gonna lay low. I need to talk to her. Where is she? Oh, there she is. There you are. There you are. Welcome back. Janet has asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Right. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Um... Opening up trade with the boomers would be easier with Janet in their camp, wouldn't you agree? Intriguing. Janet puts in a good word for me, and the Crimson Caravan gains exclusive access to the boomers. Yes, that works for me. Good. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Uh, no, I'll consider it awesomeness on my part, because I'm great. Uh, wish I could find a pressure cooker. Guess what, Janet? Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Uh, yes. I've convinced her to pay you what you're owed. You are free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. You're welcome. And I have gained... Hey. More... Ah. Um, more boomer love. Okay, um, uh, back to... The hangers. And hope that Janet doesn't die. Don't die, Janet. Hey, buddy, I have good news for you. Evening. Hi. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. Ooh. Um, is that it? Bye. Do I have to actually wait for her to get here? Because that's dumb. Bruh. Well, I think she's moving at least. Um, I guess we can try waiting for a couple hours. Okay, good. Now they're both in the hangar. Sweet. 
I have met Janet back at Nellis. Uh, where are they? There they are. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. Gross. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Why not with you, Jack? I'll never, I'll never I let you take go. Care of that robot problem for you. Just saying. Uh, Despite our strength, the Legion army looks fierce enough to make me waver. Once a Republican, always a Republican. Okay. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Um, you said something about a robot. Um, have you found a pressure? Hmm. Okay. Sup, Janet? Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. Okay. Dad gummit, that only got me 270. Um. Okay, so we need either a pressure cooker or we need a um a level up. And a level up is gonna take me another 1500 so what can we do oh um we can do this we can do this so let's do that onward to the bunker <laughs> 